<laughs> let me see. I just started recording. Sorry. Um, let me let me see your table. Okay, let, I, I'll ping your table. Okay, I see that. It's perfect. Um, I, I see you have a lot, you have a, a yeah, the, yeah, that's a good brush to use for this purpose, by the way, the, the uh, water brush. Yeah. yeah I, I bought this from you too, because uh -huh. I saw you. Yeah, that, that, that brush is actually good, perfect for this, I, I, I know. So yeah, just uh, um, try to um, create some shapes, not, not just the, the brush, uh, you know, not just the one round dot, you can combine some. So, um, okay, let me give you an example of what uh, I'm doing. I have, in. this is a practice uh, in this book, Pu Bao Shi Technique Decoding Book. And we're doing this practice. Okay, here. <coughs> Step one, um, to, to start from the shady part of this uh, jungle, we can, we can see this jungle, the, the, the aimed effect, right? But we start from the foliage instead of the trunk in contemporary style painting, because we want to create the big pictures, all right? So <clears throat> you start from here and then you develop, when the brush is dry, you do the, the two sides. And then we'll add water to do this top part, the, the lighter part, okay? You understand? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you so after it. this, I should add ink more if I want the dark, another dark, or I just just put water. Um, not not uh, you you use dark first, not not water yet. You can add a little bit if it's uh, getting dry. You can go slow if you want. You know, you can you can just um, kind of uh, rotate. But see, if I try to paint slow, it loses the big picture. So I at this point I try to create a, um, a uh, momentum. momentum, yeah, m movement. So at this point, uh, we try to create the movement of the, the, the composition, the structure, not concentrate on detail effect. Okay. And uh, so this is, this is the dark part. You can add a little dark on this part. Okay. And then I add water. Um, you can you can dry the brush to save you know water. I just dry the brush with a paper towel, and then I just load the water to it. Maybe just uh, one corner, so you you can dry more. And then can you see my water here? Yes, I'm moving my water. You can see this corner here. So I I dry. So the, this brush has ink in it. You don't have need, need to. You don't have to wash it. You can even put some ink on the corner. So this is the effect we try to get. And see, I don't use. I I didn't put uh, anything under it, but uh, metal. You can use uh, plastic or glass. Uh, Fuba should normally use uh, several layers of uh, uh, paper, newsprint, newspaper. Because when you do this, you may poke holes if you, if you have a soft padding under it. Right? Yeah. But this, this brush actually um, is a little too small. So that's why you don't have to use this brush. I, I may have to go back to my no, normal brush. It's a little too, f like it starts, it's, I try to get the same um, tips. So if you use a regular brush, you got tips, right? You, you can just use the regular brush, but it might ruin this brush. But this, um, according to Mr. Xu Shan, the director of the museum, he said this, you know, actually will not ruin the brush. He, he just used a new brush like this. So you can see the difference between these two. This one doesn't, does not have the, 
tip. The tip is really important with, with the brush stroke. It gives the movement, the direction of the... So this, um, this two group, for example, can talk to each other because they, they're pointing, pointing to each other somehow, you know, and it points to, it leads the eye, not just the straight down, you know. It, so this, this brush has directions, I think. You see the, the tip sometimes gives the, the, the more the movement. If this brush is, you have probably paint it a little wetter to get this uh, effect. Anyway, I forgot the, about this brush. Just use a regular brush, it'll be fine. An old brush, you know, so you don't need to worry about that. So add water and get uh, light. So the, the uh, point here is the uh, grouping of uh, trees, uh, the, the uh, light against the dark, dark uh, break the light, uh, dark, light break the dark, basically. Okay. And for Zhu, he, he would use this kind of uh, uh, stroke to create the, uh, channels for, for the water to travel. So he, he may not use uh, uh, light ink. He, he just use basically dark and uh, some, the bottom, you know, is still uh, water always. Don't, don't load the brush wholly with the dark. But basically you use dry brush to start. So when you go wet, you, you do the dark first, right? And then um, let me just use this one for water. I use a clean, cleaner brush. Just, just water. So the light is created with uh, um, water. And the, the water is more than you might imagine, he, he will put lots of water on some uh, uh, spot like, uh, like uh, the light part, because you want to keep the paper from, uh, uh, from ink. So you put water around the, around the ink. Because this paper has this uh, um, characteristic, I think it will not bleed. Um, the, it, the the water will will make it the dry stroke um, lighter. Yeah, that's that's what it does. And uh, for this part, it tends to be dead. So this is very important to to keep the uh, little pockets of white. And Fu Bao Shi might use the uh, iron um, to, or uh, blotting paper to stop, to, if he, he likes some effect, he will blot it and iron it, keep it. Um, if it's uh, too blur, you know, if he lost a spot, uh, in, 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 like uh, if, if he got like a uh, dead, uh, black too much, he might uh, just poke a hole. And then later he asked the, the uh, uh, mountain master <laughs> <laughs> to make, yeah, to, to make a patch and then keep working on that. After um, backing, he, he will work on that piece to do the washes and something like that. That's, that's in this book, he, he mentioned that. I think in the interview, right? In the interview online, he, he um, told us this is this kind of story. Um, Doctor, am I doing this okay now? Can I still following you? 
Good. Yeah, yeah. Just keep those little white pockets, right? Yeah. So um, the if you look at the the the, the football she has uh, a lot of uh, directions like a, like sh different shapes of uh, strokes, right? This is because of the brush uh, he used just a, a, a good calligraphy brush, you know, or landscape brush with a, with the fine tips. So if you oh. cut your brush, I think the, this brush I cut it, uh, it. It's actually can produce this kind of. Uh, you see, I got this little shapes. Yeah, so you can you have to figure out some tools found in your home. So I also use like a. Um, yeah, this this brush I cut in, in in one of the class. You know, I just make this this kind of uh, not just the even cut. So maybe you can modify this brush, making it into like this shape. Okay, for, to to Yan Mo has a uh, in the, in my lecture note, you can download it from with the book. Uh, also in lesson nineteen, yeah, he. He showed the, some brush like this, so only with some long bristles. He may just take out. Uh, I think he, if you keep using it, smacking it like this, you will get this kind of brush. So even this this one, you need to yeah, you need to modify the shape maybe or just the, yeah okay this way. You see, you have to use the heel of the brush. And then you use partial split brush to create the, the uh, at the edges with little, uh, with some kind of uh, see I got a you take some practice yeah so kind of pushing yeah to get that effect yeah okay <clears throat> so this is for the trees and you can if you got um, if you like the effect, you know you can you can use a, a blotting paper to stop it um, from uh, bleeding into the the other areas. Actually, when you put the water outside, it will not spread towards the uh, the where the water is. It will keep it. It will contain it. Actually, this is a, uh, the ma water management trick. So. You can stop water from bleeding into the white area with the clean water. Um, so this is a challenge. If you, yeah, if you move the pa the paper, this you have to clean this table. Anyway, let me just put it uh, away. Now let's work on a on a pine tree, okay. And uh, I'll do this practice here. This is uh, uh, similar to Mr. Ju's approach. Seems uh, it, it's better to work with a small. So maybe we just cut into what we have. So we can do more. The smooth side is what I use. Okay. Now uh, we we start. If you recall, in the traditional. Um, landscape, classical landscape painting class, um, we start from the trunk, right? Uh, when you paint a pine tree, and then you, um, you draw the contour, and then the bark, and then branches, and then needles. But um, contemporary painting is very different. It, it starts from the focal point of uh, where the, 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 uh, the branch uh, from a uh, a shape or something. So in this case, you can uh, let me see if I if I want to. There are two paintings very similar. 
So maybe we'll use this one instead of that one um, as, a, as a compositional guide. So I, my, my, my branches um, are about uh, this high, not so high up there. And I created a stage for the waterfall on the lower, on the upper, upper uh, left side. So I paint like a corner of uh, uh, to this, this, this part. So if you divide the paper into, it will be diagonal, something like that, and then a little bit up on this corner. So it's, uh, it's like that. So my, 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 well, my uh, tree is, is right here. So at this point, I, I don't have to look at my brush. I just paint um, the composition, the composition of uh, uh, this painting, the structure and the shi. Shi means con uh, structural, structural tendency. So I didn't really look at my painting. I look at the, the sample painting here. And then I, uh, when the brush is gets dry, I just keep doing the, um, a suggestion of uh, uh, tricks and uh, doesn't matter, you know, tricks and uh, needles, but the shape of uh, of the uh, tree, and try to make. Okay, now I use the the bottom of the the heel of the brush to create uh, the dance part, and uh, try to to um, shape the. This is a, here is a very important concept called the uh, qi yan. Qi means uh, breath, yan means eye. The, the holes in the tree is called the qi yan. Because pine is a, a pine needle is kind of a, a translucent, you know, not like a, a, the other trees we did earlier. Right? Even those trees, you, you should have qi yan in it. So they're all, um, they're not all bl uh, black, they're black. So that's the, but I don't do any detail. I just try to create black and then white shapes at this point. And you can, you can push the brush, you just uh, create this kind of uh, let me show you the previous picture is more clear in early stage. So this is step one, just a line to create the shi movement, the movement of the branch, directions of uh, um, the movement. Remember at this point, there's no gesture, no gesture, no zi, zi, I don't know uh, exactly, no shape, no gesture. There's a gesture, yeah, it's only gesture or movement, but no uh, posture, right? Zi, zi means uh, shape, uh, the contour shape. We, we, in Chinese, we have zi shi, referring to a gesture, but uh, uh, gesture with, uh, or posture combined, yeah, actually. Actually, the gesture movement comes first and then, uh, the, the shape of the, so now at this point, the second step, I already started, you, you shape the, you shape it. So, and in this case, there's some, uh, uh, something behind like a trunk. We, we can omit that, we can, we'll, we'll do some uh, rock, but you can do the rock it's the same same idea. When you do the tree, you do it almost like a rock. You can see on this corner here. Uh, that means the the tree outline and the uh, bark is 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 done in one step. You know you don't have to really identify the the, the outline of the tree or the, and the bark. In, in this in this case, just uh, some light ink. It's just a, okay. a suggestion, yes. Also, so uh, after this, I don't know, I, I create this. I don't know whether this is enough for the movement. Should I just continue to the 
Yeah, just uh, just uh, um, if you follow this uh, this uh, uh, composition, there are two branches. One is longer, sticking out, um, and then when it was shorter, and it, yeah, you got that. The lower one could be a little more uh, longer. Yeah, N towards the right. So the movement is almost two thirds of it. So yours is uh, a smaller. You can extend that. Extend that to the left. You're you're about half, right? So in this yes. composition, you get into almost this. Yeah, it's a three quarter at least, almost a one fifth, all the way to the corner. So I should do that also. We can extend this to. But you don't have to copy exactly. So that's another thing. You know, you you can you can always uh, modify it. I did I, I try to copy this uh, composition here. If you look at this composition, and I because the it's a it's a, a con it's a strong contrast between this uh, tree block, so almost uh, all dark on this corner, filled with uh, thick and dense. So just keep working on this. I'm using a small. Um, it's similar to the moss dot brush, yeah, the shape like uh, we, this one was so dot. It's a landscape brush that, uh, with the same design a few years ago. So I, I reordered it, I, I named it as uh, the moss dot brush you can get from our store if you like. And you know, now I start to worry about the, the outer shape, the crown. You can start, you, you still have to do the shape the block, the large shape first. So you're not here yet. I, I will wait for you if you like. But yeah. we need to work fast because when, when everything gets dry, it's dead. Uh, you need to, yeah, you need to work as fast as you can. But I think the fast movement is very important at this point. Fast brush work, yeah. So you can add water occasionally to break uh, the ink. So, and then just dark ink and clean water just between the two. So if it's all dry, it's kind of boring. Right? So I, I break the, the ink already with, the, with water and I will use more water later. And even when you, because I, I'm not, um, using the large brush has both water and the ink at different parts of the bristle. Now I, I, I kind of um, control it with the, yeah. So look at the whole effects. Just try to create an interesting um, interesting gesture at this point gesture and the posture the, or the um, shape of the, the tree. Okay, but before it gets dry, we will do the washes. Um, to, for may wait until it dries to do, but uh, we don't wait. So I'm at step three now, almost. I start to do washing with a little uh, amber. Yeah, you're doing good. Concentrate on the shape. Uh huh. Yeah, and then the you can dilute. You can have a little light ink in it on one side, maybe on the shady part. So you just put there. So I have amber and the. Um, I'm going to put uh, umber in the background. Uh, rock, you mean? Rock, yeah. And uh, you can go inside the trees as well. The same idea, like, uh, you know, you, you create uh, you create some stroke and, and then we'll, we'll do the, the wash. Actually, he did this 
this little uh, figure on the left side. And you have the smaller brush. Let me just use this pointed. It should be a smaller brush for details. So you can use a small visible brush or small uh, landscape. Small, yes, just a pointed brush, any small brush will do. And I use a little amber for the figure. Let me zoom in if you want to see this. Zoom in a little more so you can see how I do these figures. <coughs> we have two figures on the left corner. You can see in this finished painting here. Let me put it here. Take a look at this. You see it here? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Let me just put it in there. I think it should be fine to put a paper under it so I don't stain book. You can see my figures. So I, I use a little amber to draw this uh, uh, face and with a neck. And I thought another one just concerned with one taller, one lower on this side. And then before it gets dry, I use dark ink to draw the hair, you know, break in, and it's a little hair. And uh, just with a little, 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 I have to use a very sharp point. And the eye, and uh, I think there's no nose, just the <laughs> eyebrow and the eye, you know, just Just a little suggestion. You probably do better, I, I think. So this is the another person uh, looking uh, long, long beard, maybe a little mustache and beard. Okay. So just a, a suggestion of uh, that, and then you use a. Uh, this this brush to outline the neck uh, color and then the, the sleeve. Uh, and this is dark, and then we use lighter ink to do the the garment. Okay, I have some belt. I have some. Okay, let me light the ink, and this line should be very. Um, even, Thin. yeah. Even. It's called a gaogu. You see the like a silk worm, uh, silk, silk. Yeah, Shenzhan Tu is like a silk, silk string. Oops, that's a too far. Anyway, I'm going to cover the mistakes with the, with my uh, background. So this is almost like the Li Tai Bai, you know, the Liang Kai's uh, Tai Bai uh, poet, Li Po portrait. Uh, you can have a little, little brown suggest uh, the the hand, but not necessarily. Okay, so basically, uh, I try to save a little white. That's why I do this, and then we just uh, paint around it with uh, uh, the uh, the brown. This is too much brown. Actually, you should mute it with uh, with the uh, light ink. Just paint around the, the figure and save the white. Save the white. You don't have to worry about the cast shadow in Chinese painting. Okay, then I um, extend that. Let me just use uh,
ink, light ink, and some all this. So there should be no. Oh, there there's some clouds here. I forgot. So just got some water here. On the corner, yeah. And some some um, in some holes in the in the tree. And I, you know, this this is very important to to uh, start. Normally, like a football shoe would do the trees with the ink and the indigo from the dark out, outward like this you know so it's darker in the in the center area and smear out something like that but you can also create a hard edge um, by adding a little a little um, that and, uh, so it's darker outside and uh, lighter inside. Try to recreate this hard edge. That that could also work. So this, this you, you combine the indigo with amber also. Sorry. Yeah, just I just use indigo and amber so far. You can mix them to get almost like green, gray kind of. Yeah. Uh, basically, yeah. Um, uh, amber for the background rock, uh, and the indigo and ink. Both of them has has ink in it. Yeah. So. Just let the ink and the color break, blend uh, on on the paper. Yeah, and you can um, make it uh, more misty by adding charge more water to it, like uh, like we did earlier. So just use a clean brush with, uh, but be careful with with the the figure area. So if we want, uh, I think this area probably is the area I put water. I put water here, in, on the. Oh, I cannot see it. Sorry. Yeah, so I I put clean water in this area, and then the water will kind of create a, uh, and I also put water in this hole here. No, First I cannot water. see the. I cannot oh. see you in my screen. Okay, let me sorry out. Yeah, I put water on, on top here, and I also put water yeah. here, uh, here to, to, to reserve this hole. And then the water kind of create a beam. You can, you can do this. You can, you can lead the water like a beam in, just, just make some uh, strokes. And this water, um, you know, like a shining through it, like a light shining through it later. You won't see it right away. It will take 20 minutes to take effect. To create the, to create the beam, you should uh, use the water brush that okay, you use one, to put this, the water yeah, or you the, use the water. This is relatively dry. So I put the um, reservoir here, okay? And then I uh, lead, lead the water to where I want by pouring it like that. So you create uh, a, a, channel, a channel to, uh, to do the oh. water. Provided that this area is drier, so water only goes to the drier area. So you 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 blot it first, and then you you lead the water in. You, you, if the water is it's more here, the water won't come yeah. in. Yeah, the principle yeah. is that to if water goes to the where it's drier, so you can uh, you can also lead it like that. You can you can use a split brush, you know, just uh, create this kind of. Uh, uh, effect and then uh, sometimes I like the, the hard edge, so I don't put water there. I just want to put water in certain areas uh, like this, right? And uh, let me see what else to do. Yeah, you, you can break the ink 
we can break the group. I think the let's see. This is the area we want to. So then I illuminate I want it to white. But this, you know, little bit <laughs> I'm losing. Okay, the, the chi and the eye of a uh, breast may not to be you know pure white, just relative. But you see how good it is in this example, the little little but this two painting actually is are two different pieces. They they look different uh, to you, but both of them have some dried pocket there. That's very important. That's the it makes it you know like got stains on this side. Anyway. So let me put this here. You can see, can see it. Let me put on, on my, I don't have to have my, OK, here we go. Let's put it on this side. Okay, this one, um, yeah, you can see on this side. That's, that's the result of, the, of this, and we'll work on the waterfall later. Uh, the, you, you should be here, something like this, right? Yeah. yeah. So um, your, your tree, can you see? The shape of the tree is, uh, is a little bit uh, too defined. So you want to you want you want to take the, the left the right side all the way off the frame. Uh, that, that should be done actually earlier with dry brush, but you can make it up later with a dry brush maybe. Yeah, this tree the the composition composition wise we should go to, maybe my was not so I, I will make a little bit here. I realize my problem too maybe. So yeah, we can go all the way to this uh, this side. All right. So my tree, I think the the trunk is too much, and then I need okay. to put yeah, more. You need to eye. you need to divide it into um, like a a big group here, uh, and some a small group on top, and uh, um, a, a group on the on the right. You need to divide into blocks of, uh, um, and some groups are drier here, and I can add it later. Maybe you know, just uh, with more dry strokes, some some dense areas and darker, so not not all even. So you need to create uh, um, this all, all these variations. I think if you could could uh, make it up later, you, yeah. see, you see you see what I mean. Yes, this, this the, yeah, this area is dense, and some sparse here on the bottom. You need to, you can add it like I'm doing right here. So some dry. I should add it after this dry, or I can add it now. Um, it's really depends on. Uh, yeah, I think you can add it later because the 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 rock is uh, wet. Yeah. It's really, um, yeah. You have to you have to make a judgment <laughs> yourself. <laughs> if, if it's, uh, there's no, it, there's always you know you can always go back and forth, back and forth, not completing one step. You try to complete yes. one step, then um, it's kind of uh, uh, difficult to yeah. So try try to paint it, uh, you know, in several several layers. I think. Yeah. So let, let me let me finish this uh, uh, waterfall now. We're working on this waterfall, well, we use a uh, very wet brush and a light ink. Um, I got a little piece of that. Maybe I just use that 
to create a, a shape on the top first this this uh, this division block and then uh, the right branch we don't really paint the waterfall we do the rocks in, in the waterfall right so vary the shape of the blocks I, I asked Xu Shan, the director of the museum, how to do this. He, he said, you know, just like a uh, right character pin with the three, three uh, blocks of rock, just vary the size, you know, shape, maybe like something like that. And then put, uh, squeeze out the, the, the water with a bank. Uh, there, there are more water on this side, so. But very uh, blurry, so you only have this area, this this center area. Uh, make sure you have enough white space. So see how how this stroke goes. You press and then lift gradually to, and because my. Uh, the bottom of my brush is uh, almost water, so I can use that to uh, finish. You know, I, I put the brush this way, maybe, so the, the dark on top to do this stroke. Just print, yeah, something, you know, very loosely. Drag it, and you can, you can just use the, the bottom of the brush to finish that stroke. And a little bit dry brush also lose it very loose. So some okay, this edge defines the width of this waterfall here. Maybe to make clear and then okay. And there's a branch looking like a some ambiguity is fine, you know, you don't have to define everything, but uh, something like that kind of uh, uh, falling on this side, but very loosely. And then um, some uh, falls very light, almost like water. And then you can you can charge it, you know, with a little dry brush, with a little dark darker gray. Uh, that's how we do it too, with the distant mountains in uh, classic Chinese uh, painting, right? Xia uh, Gui, that's, that's always a distant mountain. That's the idea. You can also wash the background with water, you know, that uh, that will also help. I, th I think it, this this is fine as long as we use this uh, uh, skipping brush kind of, instead of solid. So this is, I bring it all the way to this water area and then it will bleed into the, the mist, all right? So this more look like a, like a big, um, you know, Pool, you know the the, the uh, uh, fall. I mean, with lots of falls, lots of falls. Maybe Indonesia has this kind of waterfall. <laughs> yeah, a lot. Yeah. Okay, so one long line, and then the, normally there's a yeah, there's a little darker one on top. Just to put a little hint there. And uh, this one is the focal point. A little, little, you can repeat it with a dry brush on top of this to enhance the contrast there. So we, we don't really do the water. The more you do the water, you, the, 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 you, the, most like, the more likely you will mess up. So don't, don't do much. Just keep it very loosely, so just, you know, just do the, bank only. Don't touch the water. Okay, so I use dry brush, then I add water. That's another way of doing it to get it loose. Just clean water to bring it to the, just like that. Blur the, the bottom with clean water. Okay, I got the stain there from the, so that add a, a little bank is unwanted, but it's nice. I keep that. So this side has a little definition. Less than the font, you know, it's good. And uh, just like that. 
don't have to be exactly the same. The artist himself can even repeat. You can see these two pieces are different and each stroke, uh, they are both fine, but you can see this is more harder, this is softer, that's both works fine. So I, I don't really don't worry about that. Just um, here I have uh, uh, some texture from the, 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 wall, the uh, streaming fiber here that creates Yes. A, yeah. True. Uh, How to avoid that? Sometimes the fiber may ruin the painting. I like that. Yeah. Just uh, you yeah. like that. Yeah. So your, your painting looks, uh, um, I think I have to ping my video. So the recording, the person online can see my, this is my version. Okay. I'm sorry, I, I didn't pin mine. I, I'm keeping keep looking yours. So people, you may watch yourself painting in the end. <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> if you repeat that. But I, I will do another one if you if you want. Okay. So the the ba the background is almost done, and you can add a little indigo if you like. There's no brown in it. I think. Just a little bit, maybe not even. We just we we'll just see how it works. I, I think light ink is already working. Maybe I already got some in it. It looks uh, it looks bluish to me. So for these two figures, we'll distinguish them by adding. We got uh, basically blue, red. I call this uh, maybe yellow. You know the the. Uh, the, the brown uh, amber is considered ye more yellow, right? And then we need a little red, which is uh, with a little bit, a little bit pink. You can use any 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 pink. I just got here some kind of leftover from the flower painting class, so I just use that. Dilute it very very light, and then just do one stroke, basically, you know, something like that. You don't, you don't really need to fill in all the blanks. Yeah, just, just to suggest, even, you know, here, I, uh, I should use a stroke, not, not um, solid wash. So there's some, uh, when I do the color, you know, you, you should always have this, this kind of uh, unfinished, incomplete. You know, you don't have to make everything too, uh, I think you you probably see on, on the on the video it looks like a solid, but they they're actually very loose. It looks so dark here. Maybe the, let let me lift it to, to show you against the light. Maybe you can see. You can still see the see that the yeah, yeah. yeah you can see it's not that dark right. No. Yeah, not that 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 block. It's, it's still there. Okay. See this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And let me clean this up. Okay, um, I can use a little uh, amber maybe to wash the other person's garment, maybe a little bit, just a little bit. Not wash, uh, highlight a little bit. Here's a corner. A little shade or maybe something like that. It's a little bit shading. Okay. Um, I think the color is a little bit too 
too strong on this side. So I need to mute it. So you can use some uh, indigo to and ink to mute this. So let me just add the gray down. Or you can just use light light uh, ink. Oops. My brush may be too small. Um, actually, when you wash, a washer will use something like this, just a, you know, a big uh, short haired wash brush, like this super wash brush. So you can do, um, large strokes like this. Okay, now I just to unify this area maybe a little bit more with a little very, very light uh, indigo with a little ink muted just to give it a, a uh, atmosphere of uh, blue. Very nice. It looks yeah. very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think football should probably has to put, uh, poke a hole there. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Uh, another thing Zhu Yan Mo does is to use a uh, uh, mineral color. So you can put a mineral green on it. That creates some mm -hmm. kind of uh, light in, in the, but uh, uh, that will destroy the, the whole uh, atmosphere maybe. So I, I think I, I'm fine. I, 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 you know, if I mount it after it dries, you should still see the, yeah, right, yeah the, the black. black from the black. And uh, uh, another thing is you can maybe blot it to, yeah, see, I can create, re recover the, the white. So I can just blot it. Let's see, I can take a, I can blot it. Like that, maybe. Yeah, you can recover some uh, something. White. You can, yeah, some white. You put a little bit under it. Put a dry paper under it, and then uh, sandwich it. You know, and you know, sandwich it, and then blot from both end. You see, I can make it lighter. Yeah. So yeah, th this is a, a little trick. And then you can add clean water to make it uh, juicy again. So it will not look like it, you know, different from surrounding area. So that, that, that is a, that is a uh, rescue of a, yeah. Basically, it's sometimes you know, at at uh, half dry, you just put the water. You create a blo a, a white blossom, right? You know, that that that's a breaking in ink technique to to create a a chi eye. Yeah, you can you can do that. So I try to get some white back, but don't try too hard. You know, you might you might uh, make the paper fuzzy. <laughs> Yeah, that that's uh, don't when you see little little text, you know, like a little uh, this kind of thing. What do you call numb, right? Something you it should stop. Yeah. Let me see yours. So you you already finished this one. Let me see. Yeah, but. I think now after I see you complete the painting, so I get the bigger picture, so I, I can 
do the composition better perhaps next time. Yeah, yeah. You you learn from mistakes. It's, it's good. To yeah. Mistakes. So you you can always. Uh, so this, this this example from Fu Bowser book that I bought also, or this is the Chu Yan Mo. Uh, this book is uh, by Xu Shan. It's a Chinese book. Uh, not, uh, not. I, I don't. I think it doesn't make sense for English uh, readers. Unfortunately, I, I can. Op um, I can. I can have teach a class, do all these uh, practices. Uh, so you, um, if you look at uh, nine, uh, lesson nine and lesson eight, I used some of this, but uh, not, not, uh, not systematically. Uh, this will take uh, maybe ten classes to teach. Has, has a lot of uh, techniques here. So, so this is uh, the outline the trees, and uh, we did this tree, uh, uh, this bushes. This is this is a little different than we did. Okay, we did this practice right in the beginning for the split brush yeah. trees. Uh, we didn't add the trunks. Let me go back to that. Add the trunk. Uh, this has to be dry. But football, she didn't use so much water. See, I kind of lost the control there. It didn't work for some reason because the the ink is too much. I think the dark is too much, so it it just become big blob. You you have to you have to be careful. Like if you use this brush, only two or three bristle has dark. The other should be light. Yeah, if you use. Do you think brush, my Do you think my painting is too 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 the gray, not dark enough? The gray. Uh, your no, problem is you gray, not dark. Enough. Yeah, if you, you can always um, you can always add more. So go light at each step. Don't overdo it. You can always go back to dark. So if you, um, yeah, that, that's the, the problem with this one. Um, because the, yeah, I loaded too much dark like this, you know, it, it bleeds too much. But you can, you can see, I try to make a point here. Uh, in this painting, you see the contrast between uh, here and here, right? This is dry and wet. Yeah. Uh, so this is pretty solid. I try to create, recreate this kind of effect. So we can just make it uh, uh, into a, this is too wet still. So you're in, in a good painting, you know, you, 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 you also have this large shapes, not just little, little things. If you only use dry brush with a little, little uh, texture dots, you won't create a, the, a good painting. Because mm -hmm. you see this example, yeah, and you you should always have a white in in that's that's probably it because I don't have white. So if if I'm football, should he would do this and he would he will mount it. You you can use dry mounting, you know, to make a yeah. make a hole. See, you will make it. Uh, he will do this, and then you use the same paper to make a patch. So he will just. Redo this part, <laughs> but also he has a lot of unfinished work. So this technique is very risky, very uh, kind of uh, random, you know, mm. not not completely controlled. So he may just throw it away. He had a, a pile of it, uh, so his family never buy toilet paper, according to the story, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, oh, so you add the stem when this painting get dry, or you add the stem while it's still wet. Okay, sorry, I muted myself. Yeah, I just poked a hole on this one, and you can poke a smaller hole also, just to, to balance that, and then we can do the. Uh, patch with the dry mounting is very easy. You can see a video I, I made on how to do this. I see, and you can uh, redo this part. So, um, 
Let me just put some paper here. And you can even paint right now with the you know a same paper and then ask the just put a tape and then the 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 mount the mounting master will will help you to uh, patch it. You know you, you can you can do that. but it's complicated, right? Yeah. But anyway, that that's uh that's in, in this book actually the text this kind of trick. So he sometimes his painting is done on raw paper, unsized paper, and then ask someone to uh, mount it. It becomes sized. So he 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 do the washes on, on the mounted paper. We can do the same thing if you want to see. Um, anyway, let let's do another practice if we have time. Yeah, I think we still have some time. Let me change my order. Do you have any uh, suggestion on 3MO's book? Uh, let me turn to his book from the copy I sent you. I have the uh, original yeah. book in here. Yeah, Wait. so let's, let's pick one. He, he, he does a uh, Lotus also. Do you want to see? The same yeah, type. yeah, yeah. I, try, I want to try the Lotus one. <laughs> you know my... Okay, yeah, yeah he, he's the Lotus. He's Lotus. It's Lotus. Very small. beautiful. I understand. It's a... Uh, let me... So which one we want to do? Um, I think the something that we can see the technique clearly would be helpful. Yeah. Um, I think yeah. I think this either this one or this one. Um, so with more leaves, maybe. Let's just do that one. Huh? This one on the left. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can make both sides. I, I stop to you. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> so uh, we we use a split brush. Okay. Is that uh, now uh, which page larger? So I don't I don't miss that. Okay. Which page? Page number. Oh, page number 30, 31. 31. 30 and thirty-one. Yeah. Let me let me put uh, this. Uh, uh, let me find this here. 30 and 31. Oh, yeah. uh, it take a while to get to that. 30, okay, I got it. 30, 31. Yeah, this is a number. Uh, actually, this one is not. This is a good one. Uh, number 29 may be a good start. And then we can, yeah, we can see. Number twenty nine. Let me see. Let me put on the okay. on the screen so you can see. Um, the circle one. See this one. I have to turn on the. Let me see this one. Oops. Browser country. Hmm. Web browser. Hmm. Um, I have to share this window capture. Okay, add a new zoom to explore Microsoft photo. No. Yeah, I think I have something for this. Okay, this is this uh, this is the Microsoft Photos. This is my article. Let me see which one is that. Let me close that, and then you will see. Photos. Hmm. Windows capture. Microsoft photos. Doesn't come up. Um, sorry. Okay, okay, I can see from my copy. 
Mm -hmm. You can, yeah, just see your copy. I, I use the book. I try to find yeah. this. Uh, I'm like, I, yeah, I can see from, from, from the book. Let me just. So it's on. page 29, right? Yeah, uh, 29. 29. 29. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you use a. Uh, a, uh, just like uh, any any uh, split brush. Let me just use a smaller one because this paper is kind of small. So I just use any leftover. So my my uh, brush should be quite dry to start with. So add some water. Too dark. Okay, <clears throat> he he will concentrate on the shape of the the the, uh, the lotus, right? Just like you do the the rock, just like you do the the the, the rock, and with dry brush, with a lot of uh, skipping in between. That's that's why you got. This kind of uh, stroke, but see the altar shape quite. Uh, see, this is this is a section of the leaf. It's very clear, almost like you you draw with the um, the brush. But see the the blobs here is is bothering me. I try to connect them, maybe with it, some some veins. You might draw the vein also at the same time um, with the dark, and then we, we will make it to. Uh, so, dark actually comes first and dry, you know, and then we make it uh, misty with lots of, lots of, lots of water. But not too dry, to, to, uh, you should have this kind of uh, structure. So the, this is to create the this, the, the uh, movement, the movement and the structure. This should add some. You start breaking ink already, but uh, later we'll do it more. Then so see how this is. Sometimes you just got water, uh, got, got ink from this area. So this is the the palette kind of. Yeah, this is like that. And you need to keep some uh, white while you eliminate the unwanted ones. And just make uh, the altar shape kind of uh, um, with dry brush. It's also work. Some you know ancient ancient painting looks like that. It's, it's for the the autumn leaf, like a wizard. Leaf, so some, something like that, and you can add the the veins later. I think. So not next I'm going to just add lots of water, and then uh, you can use wet wet water to draw this distant ones. But still with some dry, not just uh, wet, right? Some dry and wet. So this, I'm not going to copy exactly his uh, composition. So basically, I have two layers of uh, uh, leaves overlapping, and this goes behind. Now I I use the uh, water. The water goes to the light part. And then you you use the dry brush to lead them into the area you want to break. You see like that. So it goes from the center to to the margin, maybe something like that. Yeah. And uh, you can also uh, introduce water from different directions. But let me just keep it on this on this side. So this could be 
added seems kind of struck with water. But lots of water, that's the, the key to get the mist effect. Misty effect, all right? And then after this dry, you add the uh, flowers and stems as usual, as you would do with uh, the uh, regular. See, I because I use a hard uh, surface to paint, and sometimes I, it creates stains. That, that's interesting. <laughs> See, that, that, that's a different uh, approach. He, he didn't use uh, uh, glass, but I, I use uh, this uh, metal uh, kind of uh, plate. So that, that, that gave me some extra effect. Um, yeah. I think my composition is a little bit different than yours. Is it okay? Uh, yeah, definitely okay. Let me see. Um, let me see yours. I think I can use gallery, gallery view so we, people can see both of us. Okay, I just take gallery view. Okay, I see your your dark is a little too solid to begin with. So the the lot of uh, let me see, see this little, a lot of veins in it. Right? Yeah. So just like you paint the rock, but rock has more uh, like a long. We have a kind of rock called the um, lotus vein. Lotus mm, yeah, true. Yeah, almost like that. You can, uh, let me do another one to show you a lot is rain and work. So th this, I, I put this away, let it dry. Let me, let me yeah, do it. Yeah. You can, you can try. From the camera, I saw that the your painting is a little bit dark. That's why I think there's oh, a little bit. The camera, exactly. Let me use it extremely light. Let me just use very light ink. So maybe the camera will read it right this time, okay. So I use a glass. You, you don't have to use glass, but it's just a fun to experiment. Okay, I, I cut it. You can use double layer. Sometimes the bottom layer works better. So, so let me cut this. This time I'll, I'll start from the vein. Make sure I, I do the veins first. So, um, let me dry the brush. Uh, let me change at the, at the composition. Like I do this one 30, 30. Okay. Okay. Number 30. Uh, it's a vertical one, obviously. Like so let me just do this vertically. <clears throat> you can follow, follow me if you will. So I, I push the brush from center out. If, if it's too solid, I just make it into a, a section of leaf. When the brush is split at the right shape, I do some um, um, exposed veins in, in this uh, hole area, you know, with a partial split brush maybe. Then I continue to do um, this side. So I, um, one thing is that you don't want to make it into a shape, a solid shape. So maybe a larger brush will work. Let me just use this one. So brush like this, I got brown on it. Let me just use that, no problem. You can use color directly, you know, the same, same way. So this one, see that, that, that works better, right? With the split, see that, that it's almost like it's this brush. Yeah, just poke it like that, yeah. And then just, yeah, he does it so fast. Before you even, I, I try to simulate his uh, movement here. So I got brush, I, I, my ink and the brush works together, that's fine. And here I have this uh, area for the flower I need to void. So I just go to that direction there, dry leaves on the other side. Whatever. Uh, you can add some blue to to make it more interesting, maybe. And uh, here, so you always do the dry before you do the wet. That's that's the idea. 
and then just to continue and leave a little little um, dry strip here in, in the middle and uh, I don't really even care what uh, oh I see there's a small um, there's small leaf in front of the large leaf in the background that's that's what it is okay so we, we don't have to worry about that something like that so that's a that's a, a quarter maybe less than a quarter leaf is in here in this area on the left I only see a corner of it that's it that's a dried leaf and then um, you you pour a lot of water on this side maybe the whole area you don't have to worry about the flowers just put water in the, in the area uh, where's white where's the light you, you can leave some pure uh, pure white that's important maybe for highlight you know so in the distance we should have some more theoretically it should have you know to to make it recede some like sky some something in the distance more bluish on this side you know that's okay just water 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 lots of water you can splatter if you want just just put the water in there okay. but leave some white this the beauty of this paper is that it will keep those pockets as long as you don't touch it you don't you don't wet the whole whole scene you know but here we have a uh, almost like a pouring um, ink in fact like imagine the storm or something like the water just just pouring into the pool here it got some something like a, I think he she got he got some some water duckweeds a suggestion of some some something like a surface of water here horizontally down the down the bottom. Wow. Yeah, so yeah, just leave some some uh, some white spot here and there, you know, just uh, and you can come you can combine this a little bit. Just just like that. Some some miss missed the part is is okay. Care, care, careless, carefree is, is the key. So I, I have this area completely dry and have some some pockets here completely dry that, that balance the wet effect, right? So that's about it. And you can start to do the flowers and I, uh, that's, this time I need the uh, pink some some uh, yellow we can just do the wash and then we do the outline so i got some leftover color from the last class here perfect for this i got some some uh, opaque yellow which is nice to do the center part i got, got some grays to it just gray it down a little bit so i dot the uh, lotus uh, seed young seed here and in this area maybe that's a focal point we need to consider just you can always enhance it just uh, some some hint you know some some yellow in the in the air and some yellow here maybe there and then we change color to pink got some pink very light Pink. And then we outline with dark, darker pink here. I'll just put some yellow in it, just to make it a little orangish, orange. And uh, you can you can just paint like a bonus style strokes, but uh, uh, yeah, it must be very light, so you you can add the veins to it so it's almost like that almost like this and there's some shape here i just take advantage of that it's not a plant but it looks like the petals to me so i just add it and then just like that and it's something something like that yeah don't don't over 
define it to something suggestive, yeah, and then we will, we will um, after it dries, we, we use a um, line to define that, like Zhang Dan Qian's uh, splash ink water. Uh, I think he learned this basically from Zhang Dan Qian. Zhang Dan Qian's the splash ink master. He, he, he used a very defined flowers to, to uh, add to the, the uh, splash leaves. In that part, we just eliminate unwanted uh, white, maybe. That's it. Um, do we have enough mist? You know, that's the question that you want to ask yourself if you, I think that we got enough. Uh, I like the kind of feel of the autumn, autumn, uh, Notice so you can you can iron it to or just uh, use a hair dryer maybe to, if you like it you know you can dry it. He he doesn't use that actually. Let me. Yeah, he he can he would he would uh, wait and then just you know at the day we we were there he just say let's go dinner and go back. And let's see what happens. So it does take a long time for the effect to to show for this kind of uh, work to show. Let me just take it away, I and mean, we will uh, go back to the landscape for now. Let's see if anything needed. Okay. Okay, this is the finished work of this uh, practice we did after this this book. I think he he his, uh, he, he didn't say if it's a copy of original or not, but his work can uh, be confused with the original to the extent that uh, one of the football should uh, stand by the post uh, Chinese uh, post. Uh, they used a fake, I mean, a, a painting done by Xu Shan, but someone took, her, took out his uh, signature and made it into a, a Fuba Shi original. Only he can tell, you know, <laughs> onto the stand. So uh, he, he, his work is really looks so authentic. Uh, so now we can add uh, some, some uh, dark, darkest darks, the same kind of uh, ink we'll use for signature maybe. So you, you can you can go back to add this uh, traditional style tree uh, I mean pine needles maybe just to, to to show people that we know how to do this <laughs> just to say oh we we have a we have learned the tradition we know how to do this. Although we use a split brush, but we know how to do this. Just that much to indicate, to, to tribute to, to the ancient masters. It's just, uh, just like Zhang Na Qian's uh, Po Mo landscape, uh, uh, pouring ink landscape. He would do very classic trees on it. You know, just like uh, outlined uh, trees. Something like that. Um, yeah, yeah, now I'm really worried about the edges where you want to keep it, uh, the shape of the, the form of the, the crown, maybe something like that. So I don't know if you can see the video, but uh, I, I'm creating darkest on this, on the, in this uh, seem too uh, blurry part. I just put a little bit definition there, but it's, I do like the, the mist. So I may still bleed it with the water, with a little water so it will not look so stiff. You can still break that a little bit. The key is if you have lost all the white, then you, 
you cannot recover it. You can always add dark, right? The, the, the point is, so this is this could be done in, in group of seven or five, like, like we learned in the classic class. So that's why um, classic is the source, you know, we have to always refer to. When we try to fix things, we usually use this kind of rules to do, to add to it, add to the, otherwise, you know, and uh, under uh, too, too spontaneous without the rules is a, uh, we call it barbarian, <laughs> spontaneous barbaric, right? So we make it more scholar kind of painting. So he, he is more like a scholar, scholars, um, amateur tradition, not, not the Zen tradition, but he, he does like Zen. He, he wrote a long article on Seshu in, in the 50s, introduced that uh, to Chinese art circle. I think he's, because he, he studied in Japan, so he has a lot of influence of Japanese landscape painting in his uh, style, I think. So we, we, will, we will write ni, ni means, uh, oh, by the way, your pronunciation, your, your last name is ni zai, right? same pronunciation. Yeah. yeah. Or you can say fa, fa, football shit. Fa means uh, um, according to using his method. Yeah, that's probably better. Learning his method, learning from, yeah. Fa, just like a uh, law, you know. Or you can say bao shi fa, fa, fa bao shi. Fa bao shi. Yeah. Bao means, uh, yeah, in breath, that's his, uh, uh, his name. Shi means stone. Fa bao shi. Or you can say shi bao shi fa. Learn. Maybe we should say learn bao shi's method. But this could be a verb. Fa means uh, take a bao shi as a as method, you know. How do you say that in English? It, it, it's a it's a verb, fa itself. It could be a shi fa, which means shi fa, but you know, learn learn from bao shi. It's method. Method after. Maybe a uh, method after. This is what it means. Fa bao shi. Song Quan Tu. And you can write the title then. Song Quan. Or Song Pu. Right? Maybe Song Pu is better. But anyway, Quan means uh, stream. Um, or Song Pu. Tu. We don't really. Uh, yeah, you can interchange this with a pu bu pu, but that that word is kind of hard to write. <laughs> you know, I just write the easy one. Quan means a stream. Song Quan Tu. And then the year of a rat. Okay, you know how to write. And then you can sign your name. I just put my name. No, uh, yeah, I, I just put the seal on the other side of this trunk. It should be fine. You can put uh, more words like a uh, painted or something inscribed. I can put two small seals or one. 
just put a one. Is there any rules for the small seal? Um, Compared to the regular? The, the on landscape, you see um, they use smaller seals because if you use large one, it would destroy the scale. Um, so that's why in the landscape, this inscription is small and the seal is small uh, to keep the, I think I should put some padding. Uh, it's so, I forgot to put a pad. That's what they see is blurry. That's, that's okay. So you should put a, a magazine or a pad and a, a mass pad. Okay, so this is a one we did. Let me see the, the flowers. You should dry it with a, um, in the in the football shoe study book, um, Mr. Xu Shan uh, mentioned to always you know use the iron. I never used that to, before. Let me let me try and see if I have the iron. The iron may have holes in it, so you may you have to be careful. The steam should not be used for sure. Let's, uh, let's see if I can use iron maybe this time. <clears throat> so, um, I'll just iron directly so I can see, you know, if I put the paper on it, I cannot see what's going on. Okay, you can hear it, and it's, it's start to, to put that. So iron, I think maybe better to control a small area, like a, I can maybe concentrate on this area. If you use a hair dryer, you may, you may have a tendency to blow the whole thing, right? I don't know. If you use a small iron, maybe. So uh, he mentioned that if you want to preserve the area around the figure, for example, uh, from bleeding, so you can dry it with the uh, iron. It's not ruining the painting. It's not going to ruin the painting. I use a low temperature cotton, maybe not cotton, silk. I don't know what this is, how to say. It's, uh, the, the temperature here is says uh, cotton, yeah. Cotton. You can use silk if you like. It's not going to ruin. It's, it's almost like a fabric, this, this uh, So if I if I go like this, maybe I'll put a paper on that on, on that on the analysis. But this might blot it. I'm not sure. This is a sized paper, so you're not going to blot it. You can use a, a, the silicone release paper, that waxy paper, maybe just to prevent it from uh, so I hear some kind of a scratching sound. That's the the dry pigments. Yeah, if I don't use this, you might create some. See, this is a the problem. I got something. I don't know what this. It's a sand or something. That create a hole. So be careful. So don't press too hard. It, you might get pigments and making little holes on it. So that's another potential problem. I, I think I'm fine to do the, it's not dry enough. I want to make the, the flower dry enough so I can uh, <clears throat> draw those veins, I'll show you. 
And this is okay to have some damp in uh, moisture there. And maybe I should, I can I can get that one. I can use a little uh, little glue maybe. So we got we got some peach sap glue here. And if I use that with uh, pigments, it might stop it from uh, bleeding too much. So we just use a little glue. Besides, I can use iron to stop. All right. So just dry the bottom of the brush. There's no dripping. Uh, my my paper is turned 90, 90 degrees. Sometimes it's uh, okay to. So this way I can draw better. Actually, I just draw these uh, lines. You don't have to draw exactly uh, like a, you know gombi, but uh, I just draw this this turned over tip, like a, only the the tip of it. You can you can define whatever way you like. You don't have to follow exactly the original. You know you can have multiple layers. You can have Little layer there, maybe just an impression of it. You know, th this one I, I have to redefine it. I, I know this. Okay, uh, this is just that. Oh, this is like that. So like a side, turn, turn over side of it. And then this is the, maybe like that. Okay, this one. It's turned down, so the center is here. And uh, this middle part needs to be uh, like a young lotus seed, right? So this part should be a different color. Get some yellow here. Um, See where. Oh, I got yellow here. I got lots of yellow, different yellows. This is a yellow chunk, Teng Huang. And uh, what this is, oh, I just use this traditional Teng Huang. Okay, so you, you can draw this little circle for the young seeds with a, a little bit maybe brown and yellow. And then dot it with a, I don't see any details. Yeah, he, he'd probably use green, some kind of green, or you can use a little bit ink and yellow will turn to green kind of. Just dot the center of the, don't have to be, very detailed, but it just gave an impression of the. If you uh, listen too far, let me just zoom in. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the detailed part of that. So I can just leave it out in this part because I don't know how to define it. <laughs> just leave it for for people's imagination. Maybe just a little hint of uh, something, you know, just uh, something like that. If you don't know. Better leave it out. Okay. Any uh, let me see. Yeah. Any questions about? Oh, I need to do the the stems. Let me show you the composition. On on page thirty of the if you, uh, if anybody watching this on YouTube, you can go to Blue Heron. I'll put this link under there uh, to, to purchase this uh, ebook. Okay, so I'll use light ink, light ink with uh, uh, this is a little, a little bit like 80%, 90% dry. It's okay. I like a little moisture of that. So this is a young leaf and just 
draw that. And you can always blot it or just use iron to stop it from bleeding. Our new friend. So would you please zoom out a bit so I can see it in a bigger picture? Okay. Zoom out a bit. Zoom out. Yes. Ah, yes. Yeah, because this is too wet. I, I, I put an eye on it. Okay. And then we have a, a butt here, this area. Okay. And uh, it goes uh, to this corner. So this is position number one. I, I just cross this to make it easier. It just cross. I see a little white outline there for <laughs> for uh, for this perfectly. You just draw a shadow kind of of that it goes right. Up. So I feel in a blank of white there. As I leave a little white on this, in this uh, you know light. So this is the shady part, I suppose. Yeah, right. That's the. Uh, it could be the stem for this, uh, for this uh, leaf, and then I draw one for the flower, which could be. Uh, we. We always try to see, you know, if the plant is from the same root. You can do, you can start the branch from here, from there. It will be very confusing. So, I think uh, the idea, the traditional idea, is to make it uh, look like from the same same root. So that's why I try to do like an orchid, uh, orchid leaf, uh, orchid leaves. You know, you just draw or from the same root. So basically, I just draw another crossing line there. And I try to avoid the, the, the exactly other corner, but you can, you can do that just, to, just like that. And you can have some uh, little thorns to connect them if you missed any, skipped any part. So that's also traditional, you know, just we call it the uh, mustards generally, but this this is for the thorn of the, it has to be a, a wrench with a rhythm, some close, some uh, far. You see, this is too thin part, right? And he, you can see he does uh, that too. My thorn goes away from that line so it, to create a and a little thicker impression. So you can stick it out or just, if this part is too um, smeared, certainly I'll stay within the line and then you can go out at where, you know, at the place where you, you want to make it feel thicker. But this, this is a step to adjust the rhythm with this. Okay, and then you can, um, I think maybe we don't have to, but uh, if you want, you can add a little, I want to use my broken brush, just a little line if you need you know, a little bone for the leaves here and there, but you don't have to. To be very careful with this kind of, and I just kind of connect the chi or something. Um, Try not to, uh, at this point, look at the title I gave to his uh, article. It's a quote for, by him. So at the beginning, you captured the movement, the, the shi, and um, uh, structure with the fast strokes, large strokes. In the end, you work out the nuance, uh, the details, very slowly, like a sewing, in Fuba Shi's words. He, he would use mop, sweeping mop, mop stroke in the beginning and then sewing needle stroke uh, in the end. So that, that's uh, the uh, two extreme, you know, metaphors and, and analogies. Okay. So, so uh, sewing in the end. So very, very careful with the uh, 
uh, end part. So we can still add a little bit dark here, I think. Just some some uh, uh, ink to give it a little more definition. That's it. Don't overwork. This part is a little lighter than than the than the uh, sample painting, but I think I'm fine with that. I just added. <laughs> it goes with the uh, subconscious sometimes. You know that's, and I will put. Uh, Oh, he 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 used the uh, signature on this side. You could put also put on this side, I think. And he has a seal on this, so you can put a seal there and signature here. It says "miao xin ru shi," translated in English is "net uh, the nature of mind as a lotus." Okay. They didn't say lotus. Ru shi shi means this one. Uh, nature of mind. Like this, yeah. He he's a Buddhist follower, so he he's painting a lot of lotus because lotus is a, considered a symbol of nirvana or enlightenment, uh, purity, right? In the mud, muddy world. Okay. Miao Xin Ru Shi. Miao means uh, wonderful, marvelous. Mind. I think that's referring to the lotus heart. Uh, heart. Ru. Uh, like this. And you can write uh, uh, after. To hear more. Well, this will say Lin or Fang, you know, or um, Ni. Oh, yeah. yeah. I need to say Ni. The year of the red, I just put my first name and then put my seal with the last name. You can also uh, just write your uh, name, Zheng Han, and put your whole name or last name uh, with uh, Li. I can carve a name, uh, Li, for you maybe. <laughs> Next time, maybe you get the. Um, I use a little pad because my my table is it's very hard. I can't do it without this. And uh, this should be the same same size as the character signature. See, my signature is, is smaller. It could be half size of the title. So may may I have the picture of your complete painting after this, so I may follow it after. Yeah, I'll take a picture to send it to you. Uh, yeah, it's dry now. I can take a picture right now. If you, you can, uh, you have it. Yeah. Uh, I think it's better just uh, refer to the original. And, uh, this is the original painting. Yeah. Page thirty. Yeah. And uh, this is my interpretation. So. Um, Basically, the same kind of uh, um, approach as a landscape. Uh, you, you do the dry, dry uh, stroke to create the the shi and movement uh, structure, and, and then um, add the color and water. Oh, I forgot the little butt here. Finish this. So this one, I just do it wet and wet, maybe. I don't have time to really try. So just, just like that. You know, don't complete, don't uh, 
overdue at this point. That's very important. You cannot change that's something like that. that. I think you see in the real flowers, like a, a large and a small, right? Good. Yeah. Thank you, Laoshi. Oh, good night. Thank you for for um, having this class and uh, I really yeah. I will send my homework to you. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. I wish you, you pick up something, you know, yes, each yes, time yes, just okay. a little bit worse, you know, the struggle. Each time if you pick up some ideas uh, worth the, the time, the struggle, yeah. Um, yeah. It, it does take a lot of um, try and error to to get yeah. and especially this this type of abstract painting should yeah, it's really hard to learn <laughs> um yeah i think uh, if you uh because he his his a uh, lot is from chana chen if you look at chana chen he he started gongbi in the beginning and then start uh -huh. expressing so that's why um I can only teach better, you know, teach you the, the basic, uh, you can learn the basic, uh, uh, like a line crossing, uh, flowers, just, you know, from a more elaborated style. And then, yeah, you do that. Uh, you know. it, it, it's, it's a natural process when, uh, you know, after you learn the rules and then you break it. So uh, to, to describe the, the process is also has two uh, met energies. Uh, this one, for example, um, when you when you start, you, you you start from the blank paper and then uh, you create the image of uh, the the pine, right? This is what we call the Tong Wu Dao Yu. In 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 Taoist thinking. Uh, you, you create from non being in front the being from non derived from non being right and then with water you make the the uh, the yo the present presentation representation into more into into ambiguity into uh, non being towards non being so you 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 start from uh, uh, definitions in the beginning you don't go you, you don't do abstract you make it abstract afterwards you see the the two steps from uh, from empty from chaos to order then from order to chaos you understand if you go there right away you don't have any under, underlying structure so you, you see the the two steps right here, yeah. That that's from the, a quote from this author, the the, the book. I think uh, it should help you to to understand. So you you don't have to. You can see this is quite uh, stiff and quite uh, um, traditional. Yeah, you, you yeah up to here you see, and then you you add colors to get it to into <laughs> blobs. Mm -hmm. But you have to do it fast so you don't lose the timing. So you can still, that's why uh, you have to do it fast in the first place then uh, before it gets dry. And if you can manage, you can do the water right away before it gets too, too dry, yeah, to break in. Just like a Habaku painting, Sessions of Habaku, you, uh, you do the dark definitive work first. I can even draw the house first, right? You can do the figure first. And then um, before it gets dry, you just use clean water to bl blend it. That's all. You have to remember the dark and the light is separate. Here the water and ink, two different uh, complementary elements. If you put everything on the one uh, brush, it won't work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Have now. a good day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, see you in the class. See you again. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye.